A bail hearing of the five accused alleged to be behind the murders and attempted murders of staff at the University of Fort Hare is back in court today. There for us once again is ENCA reporter Ronald Masindo following that for us. Hello again to you, Ronald. And a lot of revelations coming out of court last week. Uh, the hit list. I think there was 13 people on this hit list, wasn't there? Just remind us of that and what we're expecting today. Yes, yeah, so 13 people on that hit list. Five attempts were made, uh, but unfortunately two people uh, were shot and killed. Uh, Petrus Rutzer, who was the fleet manager, as well as Mboneli Vesele, who was the bodyguard to uh, Professor Saikela Bushungu. But this morning we are expecting four of the accused to give testimony as uh, the bail application continues. Uh, the first accused, Mongani Peter, he testified uh, saying that he needed to be out on bail. He said that he won't pose any threat to any witness and that uh, his health has since deteriorated since he's been kept in custody. He also made mention of how he was uh, brutally attacked by police officers who forced him uh, to confess to knowing uh, the whereabouts of Mr. Petrus Rutz. Petrus Rutz was, of course, his boss uh, during the time when he used to work at the University of Forte. We also heard how uh, Mr. Bongani Peter had eight children, seven of which he supported, and that he needed to support them if get given bail. But we also heard uh, from uh, the the prosecutor also mentioning how uh, Mr. Bongani Peter was very instrumental in some of the assassination attempts against staff members at the University of Fort Hare. We heard how he also colluded with two of the accused. Two people who were linked to the university, uh, Ms. Desikelo Bulawa, as well as Wanini Kuzwa. Both people will also be testifying this morning. But what we also can confirm at this stage, Gareth, is that there will be also a memorial service held by the University of Forte that follows the death of Msingata uh, Langa, who died in a car crash a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it really has been a tragic story to follow with what's happening at uh, Fort Hare at the moment. We'll talk about the university's reaction to what's been coming out of court uh, in just a moment. But uh, many people are wondering, Ronald, perhaps you can uh, take me through this particular point. Uh, we're getting the details now, that hit list that you're talking about. It seems an obvious question, but the country, no doubt, is wondering why were these hits in place and why were staff at Fort Hare targeted? So the allegations are that uh, the likes of Bongani Peter, who worked in the fleet department, he wanted to uh, collude with the likes of uh, um, Bulawa, Sikalo Bulawa, who owned a vehicle company uh, where he also uh, open up business so that he could also get uh, finances from the University of Forte in such a way as uh, servicing vehicles of the university as well as do other businesses. And this wasn't seen as the right thing to do. In fact, the University of Forte has since suspended Mr. Bongani Peter. And this seemed to have angered Mr. Bongani Peter, who was then not seeing eye to eye with the late uh, Petrus Roots, the fleet manager. He was placed on suspension facing corruption and fraud charges and it's believed that uh, he plotted uh, for the death of uh, Mr. Petrus Ritzer using two hitmen. We are also expecting uh, them to also uh, testify uh, from KwaZulu-Natal. Uh, so it, it, it is really an issue where corruption has run really deep at the institution. Sakela Butlungu, uh, the vice chancellor, mentioning that since he came into office in 2017, there were issues where uh, he flagged so many uh, irregularities and uh, maladministration issues within the university where there were uh, contracts awarded irregularly. And he raised these issues. And since then, his life has completely changed. He suddenly had to be awarded. Uh, walking with bodyguards to, on campus, uh, fearing mm. for his own life, because he was also one of the people who were part of that 13 on the hit list. That 13 uh, of the hit list mentioned last week uh, during the testimony of Bongani Peter, where hitmen were given uh, pictures and names of people that they needed to target Gareth.
Oh, Ronald Masinda, thank you very much uh, to setting the scene. What's expected in court? I'm going to let you go. I know you need to go and set up inside uh, you and our team what is a very small courtroom, so I'll leave that uh, to you for the moment. Ronald Masinda, back to him later uh, in the day, of course, uh, as that uh, court case uh, continues, that bail hearing of the five accused uh, that are involved with the University of Fort Hare murder and attempted murder.